Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a humongous haul to share with you guys from Timu. So I recently just found out about Timu and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know what this brand is. They are so, 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 so popular right now. And big thank you to Timu for sponsoring today's video. They reached out to me and I had heard of them here and there myself, but I always thought it was something that was like too good to be true. So I really, really wanted to test them out. And now that I have, I'm truly like flabbergasted i mean they speak for themselves it's actually crazy how something can be so cheap yet they actually look so good it literally doesn't make any sense it's kind of like almost like the new amazon in a way and if you have no idea what timu is they are an online marketplace they're literally like a one-stop shop to everything that you can think of whatever is an affordable price that you can think of lower it because they are dirt cheap and i was kind of skeptical going into it because i thought it was just gonna be one of those really gimmicky type of websites that has a bunch of stuff that are really really like cheaply made especially when you look at the prices some of these things are a singular dollar but the quality does not feel like they are that cheap they have fashion they have jewelry they have men's products they have products for pets for gardening technology anything you can think of they have it not only are they already like dirt cheap prices but they also always are running coupon codes you can get your items for so so cheap and you can get so many things on there i do encourage you guys to download the timu app the app makes it so much easier to shop and also if you do download the app i do have a code for you guys and with that code and if you go through my link in the description box you can get a hundred dollar coupon bundle just keep in mind though that is a 100 dollar coupon bundle it's not a 100 dollar coupon code so definitely check out the description box i'll have all of these items that i'm showing you today linked on there as well as my link and my coupon codes and everything you need to know about getting your items for dirt cheap so with all that said before we get into this video please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn post notifications on and let's get straight into it i feel like i have a little bit of everything mostly in like the beauty fashion realm so i even have fragrances to show you guys because timu has a lot of dupe fragrances and i bought a couple dupes for or perfumes that I have so that I could really kind of smell them side to side so if we can find some amazing dupes these fragrances are literally all under like 10 bucks so I have fragrances I have clothing I have tons of jewelry I have like accessories I have shoes random stuff this is gonna be a huge haul so grab a snack grab something because we're gonna be here for a while I have a humongous bag number one this isn't all of it then I have another bag that one has the fragrances those two packages were sent to me of items that I picked out while I was working with them but then afterwards I was still in shock with how nice all the products I got were so then I placed an order myself and I got a few other goodies that I'm gonna show you so considering I do have a fragrance channel I think it's safe to say we should probably start with the fragrances let's start off with this does this look familiar to you guys at all this is obviously a do for libre they actually even have the actual name like a lot of these will have like knockoff names like you'll know who what it is but the names will be a little bit different this one literally has libre and here is the perfume bottle this is crazy and this feels pretty much exactly like how the actual libre bottle feels like i wish i still had my old one because i decluttered it a while ago i do have the intense version and look at these bottles like it's crazy how similar they are this part is 3d in the real one and on here it's just flat like a little emblem and of course it doesn't actually say ysl that would be very much illegal this smells identical to ysl i'm gonna have all the prices of all these items on the screen just so you can see how insane these prices are but let me just out of curiosity look this up right now because i need to know this literally is seven dollars and i'm telling you this smells exactly like libre it might be like slightly lighter but the scent is identical this is actually crazy this is crazy then i got this one because the little picture of the cupcakes <laughs> intrigued me and this one is called milk and candy lab of nature 208 milk and candy and it is considered a gourmand fragrance i haven't smelled these ever since i regained my sense of smell so Mm, okay, this isn't gourmand. Let me just start off by saying that. It's definitely not cupcakes. This is very light, airy, floral. It actually has like so much oil 
in it. I'm not sure if I'm meant to shake this or what. Probably. This slightly has sweetness in it, but it's mainly like a really, really pretty floral scent. So I don't agree with this being called milk and candy. I don't find it neither candy-like or milky. Like it's not creamy at all. It's still really pretty though. Like it's a fun, light, fresh kind of floral scent. This is a type of scent my mom would absolutely love. So I'm probably gonna give this over to her because I think she would use that way more than me. Then I got this. So this is called Sexy Night. And when you see this bottle, you'll know exactly what this is supposed to be a dupe of. This is, I'm pretty sure, supposed to be a dupe of the Scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier. But like the night version, I'm pretty sure there's a night version. I don't have that flanker. I only have the original one. But this smells amazing. It reminds me slightly of Lolita Lampica. It's very cherry-ish, licorice -y. And again, it doesn't smell like however much this is. It's probably like under 10 bucks. But yeah, it smells so freaking good. Like very licorice-y, very sweet, cherry-like if you're into that. If you love like scent profile of Lolita Lampica, then... This is worth giving a try, especially for the crazy price point. The last of the fragrances is this. Now, this is called Mini Mini, but it's obviously supposed to mimic Miu Miu. And this is actually like a whole perfume set. And they're all like decent size perfumes. It's all three of these. I have seen these, like the actual Miu Miu ones floating around and I've never smelled them. So I can't actually like compare them to the original. But I'm just gonna smell them just on their own. So this is the little blue one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. It's very clean and almost laundry-like. But not in a boring way. That actually smells really, really nice. I don't know if that's what the original one smells like. I see this one the most out of all these other ones. Like this blue with the red cap. I always see like the actual Miu Miu one. But this is really, really nice. I don't know about the longevity, all of this. This is just like... Of first impression so I'd have to see how these actually perform but smell wise they smell great this is the pink one this one is very floral and like slightly green let me spray yeah definitely very green and like kind of citrusy this smells like nature to me like this would be like a pretty like spring type scent and then the last one is this one with the yellow cap Ooh, this one kind of smells sweet. This reminds me of something I've smelled before. It kind of gives me J'adore vibes by Dior. They're all on the fresher side. Like, they smell pretty high-end considering how much they were. But yeah, this one totally gives me J'adore by Dior. Those are all of the fragrances that I got. I am pleasantly surprised with everything. I feel like the best one that I smelled is definitely this YSL one. Like, if you've been looking into getting Libre but you don't want to spend $100 plus dollars on it, then this will literally give you the exact same scent. This is definitely like a little bit more watered down and like the potency is not there. But like if you had both on, there wouldn't be many differences that you can smell. Like that one is just like, it's crazy. It's literally $7. Like how, how is that even possible? Anyways, let's move on to everything else. That was all the fragrances. I'm literally just gonna pick things out randomly because look at this, like there's no way to do this in an organized manner. Now let's move on to the clothes. They do come like individually packed, which is also really nice. This first shirt, I love this. I, again, I didn't know about the quality of their clothing. So that's why I picked like a little bit of everything just so that I can get a feel about the quality. So this is actually so nice. Like the material of it feels so good. It's not see-through. It's actually like a pretty thick material and it's like a ribbed material and because it's black you can't really see the style of it too much so you're gonna have to see in the try on but it's like a sweetheart um neckline kind of top it's very cropped i actually wore this in my recent most recent video that i just did my man eater fragrances i'll link that up in the cards if you want to check that video out and i was wearing this top this is literally a 10 out of 10 like in every way. Then I have this top. This again is a really nice and thick material for it being white, especially things that are super cheap, especially as cheap as this. With white items, you can almost ensure that they're gonna be see-through. This is literally not see-through. Like if this was see-through, you could see my face through it. Especially because I have these bright lights on me, like you would definitely be able to see me through it and this is not see-through at all. So I'm super impressed. The style is really pretty. It looks like this from the front, <laughs> kind of hard to show, but it kind of creates like a cow ne neck sort of style. And then the back is actually open 
and it just ties up right at the top. It's actually like a really pretty elegant top. This with some little gold hoops, slick back bun. This would look really cute. Then I got this top. I'm really excited about this top because this is a total dupe for the diesel tops that have the little diesel emblem. So it looks like this and it has a little emblem right there. It doesn't have the D for diesel, it has an H, but the idea is still there. And this little thing is actually really good quality. You would think for as cheap as it was, it would be plastic or something. This is like heavy, sturdy metal. So yeah, I have nothing about to say. And it's like, uh, I think it's called Racerback. And it's in like this deep charcoal color. I'm pretty sure they had it in other colors. But are so cute and I cannot wait to wear them. I am a sucker for house slippers and look at these. These are freaking pink bedazzled house slippers. These are so soft and I cannot wait to wear them around the house. And they feel so nice too. They're thick, they're sturdy, like wow. All right, I got a couple pajamas because yes, they also have pajamas. I didn't think Again, like I'm sorry, but I didn't have high hopes for a lot of these things considering the prices. I was just so skeptical, but these are so nice. When it comes to buying like satin items, a lot of them, especially when they're cheap, you can definitely feel that they're like fake and stuff and like they don't look shiny and everything, but look at these pajamas. Look how shiny they are. They feel so good. So this is the top, obviously, and I got the red because I just want to feel luxurious and red is one of my favorite colors but this one is red with like black lining it has a little heart and it's a button down top and then these are the pants they have the black lining um on the bottom everything is super true to size from what it looks like these are an extra small and they look pretty small and like well fitted and then i got this pink set because this one has a little k on the pocket so i thought it'd be really cute and it's all pink and this one has white lining um, here are the pants. Some things only come in a small and then there's other things that go down to an extra small. So like that red PJ set was an extra small and then this one is a small, but it doesn't seem like it's too much bigger. And with PJs, I like the look of loose fitting. Okay, now let me show you the shoes because I think this is where I was really stunned because for shoes that were this cheap and for them to actually look good is crazy. So let me show you. I got three pairs of heels. So the first ones, are these black ones these are my favorite like hands down these are my favorite they literally come in like these dust bags so they're really nicely packaged but here is this little heel these are the cutest freaking pair of heels i've ever seen look at this little detail on the heel and then the bow these are definitely like i would say my favorite part of this entire haul i'm just shocked at how cute these are and then i got these they remind me of like wedding shoes but look at these these are some little white heels and then they have the little pearls where your ankle will go and then you can tie it back in like a little bow. I've been wanting like a white pump so these are perfect. And then I got one more color and of course it had to be red because I love red anything and it's these ones right here. I'm not the biggest fan of this heel to be honest. It's like kind of thick. Like from the back it doesn't look that way but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they're still cute when you try them on and everything. I still really like them. But these are the same concept as those white ones with the pearls right here. And then it ties up in a little bow in the back. So, still really cute. Honestly, there's nothing bad to say about everything because considering the price, they go above and beyond. And then next, the rest is all just a bunch of accessories and jewelry. So, first, I have this little hair scarf this is obviously supposed to be a christian dior kind of dupe and it doesn't say dior anywhere it says christian all over it like how cute is that i didn't even style it right but that's what i got it for because i've been really getting into like hair scarves and like hair accessories then i got these little earrings the little hearts and then they have a little heart at the top as well these are so cheap but they feel heavy like they are heavy duty here let me actually try these on like how cute is that for earrings that are this cheap, I was expecting to literally get plastic, but they're like heavy duty metal. Now, I don't know how well these are gonna hold up as far as them turning green and all of that, but for now, they feel really good. And you can tell when things are like super, super cheap and these don't feel that way considering they are super, super cheap. Then I got this pair of earrings because I love like the picture that was on these. These are really hard to 
describe what they look like so let me just put them on and show you all right so here's what these look like so they have the stud at the front and then they also have a stud that kind of goes in the back so here's the main earring and then you get this little backing and then you can put it there and it has three little levels so you can make it peek out as much or as little as you want so you just put it like that and then the top and the bottom peek out and then you just secure it in the back and it looks like that. I think this is going to be really cute to put in my tragus because then it'll look like I have a piercing on my tragus and then another one coming out of it. So I think that'll be cute but I can't change my tragus anytime soon because I recently got it pierced so it's still healing and right, stuff. They but... have tons of little gold hoops and... I feel like we're all obsessed with little gold hoops and these ones, I'm actually stunned at the quality of these. They feel so high quality. Like if only you could feel these, they're heavy and they were literally like two bucks or something like that. They're the perfect size and they're just so elegant and pretty. All right, here are these tried on. I love these like they're the perfect size then I got more hoops these again I'm stunned at the quality of these they actually sent me two of these on accident but these ones look like this and they have a bunch of little diamonds all over them and they actually look so high-end like, they do not look cheap at all like, the rhinestones feel like little diamonds like they're so nice they actually like sparkle so nicely here's what they look like on then there's these these have been super popular right now i think these are supposed to be inspired by like the bottega earrings here is these again the quality they feel so heavy duty but not heavy like they don't weigh your ear down but they just they feel like legit high quality decently priced earrings they don't feel like however much they were then there's these i love a good wrap kind of chain detail type of earring and these ones have like these little stars on them and i'll put on the screen the picture of these so you can see how they look like they have little like stars again they feel really really nice of course i had to get hoops because i'm in love with hoops i wear hoops like every day all different sizes but i do love my bigger hoops and I bought these ones. I bought them in silver and in gold. And they're perfect. They're like the perfect size. Again, they feel really good. They're sturdy. And then here are the gold ones. Another thing I love is arm cuffs. And I saw this one on there. And I love that it's adjustable because I have really small arms. It's hard for things to fit me. So here's what this looks like. Oh, this fits perfectly. This is actually perfect. I love how that looks. I love arm cuffs. I bought like a whole set of them on Amazon for honestly a lot more than what this one was. And they turned super quickly. And so this was so much cheaper. So it's like, why would I go the Amazon route when I can just do that? This is possibly one of my favorite finds. This is for my Apple watch. And not only does this come with the chain for the watch, but it also comes with this beautiful little cover for the actual watch. I already put that on my watch. So I'm gonna have to insert a little clip of what that looks like. But here's the band itself. And I definitely need to take out like a couple links off of this because I have really tiny wrists. But this is going to be so cute once I figure out how to do it. Um, and then with the top cover of the Apple Watch. Right, I got this little necklace. I've been into these Y2K sort of like chunky necklaces lately. They're like little statement necklaces. And this totally reminds me of a little necklace like this that my mom had like back in the 90s. But how cute is this? How cute is that? Obviously not with the shirt. But it's like a little butterfly and it has all these different strings. But yeah, this is definitely a little chunky and I feel like that would be so cute with like a long white maxi skirt and like a little tank top just giving off like very earthy vibes. I love that look. So I'm gonna have to try that with that. Then I have these earrings. They have little stars on them. I'm putting this on right now. I would have to take off my second earring right now because that kind of gets in the way. That is so cute. Then there's this necklace. This necklace I've literally been seeing on like Princess Polly and stuff and a lot of different websites. But it looks like this. And this is actually adjustable at the top so you can make it as long or as short as you want it. Again, this will be so cute with 
maxi skirt and a little tank top. I've been really into that look lately, so I love that. Then I got me a little hair bow because I don't know why I've been into hair bows lately, but I have been back with like ponytails or like half up half down looks obviously the day that i bought this i was feeling all the mermaidy vibes because i found this little seashell necklace and it just spoke to me i don't i don't know <laughs> for the summertime it's like a little conch shell with a bunch of like gold all over it and i really like the chain of it too with these little beads i don't know how i'm gonna sell this but I'll figure out a way. The last thing in this giant bag is this little kit for making bracelets. This is actually the wrong one. I actually ordered one that came with a bunch of like gold beads because I wanted to make like gold bracelets, which I'm actually going to show you guys in a minute. I ended up ordering actual gold be bead bracelets, but I wanted to make my own. But this is not what I ordered. This one has really colorful beads. And then just a bunch of tools but this kit literally comes with everything you need to make necklaces and bracelets and jewelry and they have a ton of these on there with different kinds of beads so check it out they literally have like the elastic even for the actual bracelet like everything you need is on here i just wish i got the right one and now let me show you the items that i placed the order myself so i first got these little necklaces accidentally i have must have ordered two i'm glad i picked two different colors though even though they're very similar colors so it's these little flower necklaces and again these are very popular right now i've been seeing them everywhere i got this one that has the amber sort of flower and then this one's the same thing but it has like a brown flower so i'm glad i at least got two different colors even if it is the same necklace and then i got these earrings so these are little bow earrings and then they just kind of dangle right here so you're meant to put this on like that but this is supposed to go in the back and it just kind of dangles in the back and then the little bow just stays on your ear like that the chain is a little bit tangled right now so I'm going to have to fix that up. But oh my gosh. I'm going to put pictures of all this jewelry because it's kind of hard to hold up. And my camera doesn't like autofocus. So it's annoying to show you. Then this. I did not even know this was a thing. But when I discovered this, I was like, I have to get it. If you see any of my clothing type videos, you know my obsession with backless tops and dresses. And this is a necklace that you're meant to wear in the back. And the cool thing about it is that this is actually a front and back necklace. So this will be the front of it. And then the back is like this long chain. It's just meant to droop down on your back. And I love that. I didn't even know that this was a concept. But I love it because how fun would it be to actually accessorize your back? Okay. You know? Another necklace. I bought a lot of necklaces and earrings in this video. But it's this one. Again, very earthy vibes. It was giving me like mermaid earthy vibes. So with the beads and a little heart. And then I got this. It's a, like a little ear cuff for like a conch ear piercing look. I actually have one in right now, which I got off of Amazon. But I wanted to try this one. And this one has little rhinestones all over it. And I can put it on my other ear. And the very last item in this gigantic haul is... The little golden bead uh, bracelets that I was talking to you guys about, which I wanted to make from that kit, but I actually realized that they actually had them pre-made. So they look like this. They're different sizes. They are a little bit big for me, so what I'm thinking is to cut them up and just redo them with however many beads fit my wrist. And these actually feel nice. I bought a pack of these a while back from like Walmart and they literally turned so quickly and they felt super cheap and plasticky. These ones actually feel like nice so that is it for this ginormous haul i feel like i just went through like a million products because i pretty much did i hope you guys enjoyed this video maybe this video gave you any ideas of things you want to check out on timu but literally they have everything like gadgets everything you can think of just search it up and i promise you it's probably on there let me know if you guys have shopped at timu and which are like your favorite things that you think are super super worth it leave those things in the comments because i would definitely love to place another order at some point in the future but yeah make sure to use my code and definitely make sure to download the app all that information will be in the description box so go and check that out thank you to timu for sponsoring today's video that is it for me today please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.